G'day guys, Wes Front Sealed. Um, chances are you've just seen our soldering iron video on how to use it, how not to burn yourself. Um, next thing on a 12 volt guide is crimpers. So basically you want a solid set of ratcheting crimpers. If you've got those little scissor style ones that you squeeze and they bend, don't use them. They're, they're, they're really junk. Um, but don't get me wrong, they're okay for an absolute emergency. Um, but otherwise, throw them in the bin and get yourself a decent set of crimpers. Um, they will save your backside when you need them to make a good connection. Um, but more importantly, let's get into how to use them. I've got a bunch of random terminals here. Um, so let's have a play with them, see how they work, see what they do. Make sure you use them the right way to get the best connection you can. Righto guys, as we said, um, crimpers, all right. Um, Make sure you get a good set. Look, don't get me wrong, some of the scissor type or the W style crimpers are okay. Um, but that said, if you want a good connection for the terminals that we're gonna be using today, you definitely want a set of ratchet crimpers. Uh, the W style are good for certain other styles of terminals, but your run of the mill ones that we've got, like these little beggars, um, end of the day, you can want something like this, all right? So to use them, really simple, cut off, or strip back, I should say, a touch of insulation, not too much. That's probably about right. Um, give it a little twist. And then what you want to do is make sure your wire only just goes through. Otherwise, you go to a different size terminal. So that one comes through nicely. All right. Um, obviously, we're using a blue terminal here, which is the middle size one, as you'll see on the jaws. The blue one is the middle size. And something we notice as well, I should show you guys. Um, if you have a look, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but just in here, you've got this little split that runs the whole way along. Try and get that either straight up or straight down. Don't try not to put it sideways. It won't crush as well and it won't grab as well. So that said, let's get the wire into the terminal. A little twist as he goes down so it pokes out the end just a little bit. Make sure obviously we've not got any bare wire showing out the back side of it. And then start to crimp him. Crimp him to his clothes, give it a couple of squeezes. That's not going anywhere. And then what you want to do is give it a good pull. You should not be able to pull that off. You give it a good yank, it won't go anywhere. That's the whole point to it. Um, some of the higher end crimpers will actually put a stamp on these. Um, now these are pretty run of the mill king chromes, but the really, really super high end stuff um, will actually have a stamp that you can see, and it's not considered to be appropriately crimped until that stamp is on there. Um, but like I said, these haven't got it. Not really worth con concerning ourselves about, but that is how you crimp things. Um, the crimpers are pretty, pretty basic, pretty standard how they work. Um, if you do happen to get halfway closed, and this will be the same on most crimpers, and you want to undo it, a little lever in here, push that forward, and the, it will remove the ratchet, it'll undo the ratchet. All right, nice and simple. So now we have that. What you can do, funnily enough, now that we're sort of halfway through it, and we'll get the heat shrink in a little bit, is put some heat shrink down the line and cover up your connection in total and those extra little threads coming through. Heat it, works beautifully. 